It can be said, that a stakeholder, is any individual, or group, with an interest in the success of an organization, in delivering intended results, and, maintaining the viability of the organization's products and services. A stakeholder, therefore can influence either project scope or a scope of the software product. A stakeholder analysis can be done at the very beginning of the project. This includes, determine who all the stakeholders are. Categorize them as users only, non-users, and users, who are also stakeholders. Confirm that the goals and responsibilities are aligned with needs of the project. This leads to an actor model, which includes inheritance between actors and associations back to the stakeholders. This is a very clear picture of who needs what, who has access to what, and who might not need any access to the system. An actor is something with behavior, such as a person, a computer system, or an organization. The person is identified by a role interacting with a software system. For example, a cashier. A scenario is a specific sequence of actions and interactions between actors and the system under discussion. Scenario is also called a use case instance. It is one particular story of using the system. Scenario is a path through a single use case. For example, the scenario of successfully purchasing items with cash. Another scenario is failing to purchase items because of rejection of credit card transaction. Use case is a collection of related success and failure scenarios that describe actors using a system to support particular function. A customer comes at a checkout with items to return back to the store. The cashier uses the system to record each returned item. An alternate scenario is, if the credit authorization is rejected, inform the customer, and ask for an alternate payment method. Next, the item identifier is not found in the system. Then, notify the cashier, and suggest manual entry of the identifier code. Perhaps identifier code is corrupted on the customer's receipt. Use cases are requirements. Primarily they are functional requirements that indicate what the system will do. Use cases are text documents, not diagrams, and use case modeling is primarily an act of writing text, not drawing. However, the UML defines a use case diagram to illustrate the names of use cases and actors and their relationships. Use cases that describe the internal workings of the system, its components, or design, are most common and recommended kind. Such use cases are referred to as black box. The system itself is described as having responsibilities. The responsibilities unify object-oriented thinking. Software elements have responsibilities and collaborate with one another. Each element has its own responsibilities. By defining system responsibilities with black box use cases, it is possible to specify what the system has to do in each case. This becomes the functional requirements. Functional requirements describe what will be done, without deciding how it will be done. 
such approach is a definition of analysis versus design. This is an important theme in good software development. During requirement analysis avoid making decisions about how to do things. Instead, specify the external behavior for the system, as a black box. Later, during design, create a solution, which meets the specification. Example of black box style use case. The system records the sale. An opposite is the system writes the sale to a database. Even worse, the system generates a SQL insert statement for the sale to be recorded in the database. Use cases can be written in varying degrees of formality. Use case brief format conveys terse, one paragraph summary. Usually it is the summary of the main success scenario. The prior process sale example could be specified in such brief format. Casual means informal, multiple paragraph format. Multiple paragraphs can cover variable scenarios in the system. The prior item return example could be specified in casual format. Elaborate use cases have all steps and variations written in detail. There are supporting sections, such as preconditions and success guarantees.